What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Brooklyn at Alumni with Brooklyn Zone. Joey Badass. Hey, peace, brother. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then uh, hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Yeah, I, I, I've been looking around. I just might, you know what I mean? I see a few, few, few pieces in here, so. Let's go. One thing I read is that your mom did her best to really take care of you and have you in good sneakers. Like everybody's mom. Yeah, well, some, <laughs> some just don't value sneakers, and like for a kid, it's, it's yeah. tough to get them sometimes. It seemed like she did a really good job. Yeah, she always had me laced out in the fly kicks and all that since what, a young age. Would it be you saying, I want these, or she just had the taste and she knew? Nah, she had the taste, and then, you know, like my parents hit me on being fly, like, you know, yeah. at a young age, and I just kind of, you know, kept up with it, I guess. The other thing is we have a lot of people on the show and they're like, oh yeah, mom took care of me, but you really vowed to pay her back mm. tenfold. What is it like now to see your success and her to see your success? It's like, you know, everything that you could ask for, everything that you can imagine wanting to make happen. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's like, she's super happy, you know, I'm super happy and you know, we just, Keep going. We we, yeah. we we only growing. We only going up. So it's a great feeling. Being 22 in New York, any stories about New York and trying to get sneakers that you couldn't get? I had these pair of sneakers that I really loved, the Scotty Pippins, mm -hmm. and like I got this rap bar where I say traded in my nights for a new mic. Guess it's safe to say he sold souls for his new life. You know right. what I'm saying? And it's like my passion became so great and so strong that like I didn't really care about the material things anymore. I was sacrificing those things to get to, you know, where I wanted to be. Joey, I read that at two years old, you got your first pair of Jordans. I think they were the 12s. Is that true? I think I probably got my first pair of Jordans before too. But okay. To be honest, but yeah, really young. <laughs> What are some of your favorites, and are you like a Jordan head? Well, you know, the 15s definitely bring back memories because I remember having these at like three years old. Yeah. Like, I remember going in my closet and being like, oh, these look like some space shoes yeah, or some shit. Yeah. And um, 12's always been my favorite Jordan, like, you know, number, though. Always just started growing to like in the ones. So you grew to like the ones later in life? I always liked them, the ones and the 11s, but they I just didn't really feel like they looked right on my feet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, yeah, but I also really f with the sevens. Let's talk about Vans. You're, you're, you were semi-big into Vans. I had these Vans, and it's funny, it was called the Era Pro. Okay. And you know. Low top and, yeah, and Pro Era. And, yeah. Speaking about Pro Era, the group, Obama's daughter wearing the shirt, such a big thing. Yeah. Was that crazy to, for you to see? Yeah, it was it was definitely crazy. Um, what was more crazy to me though was like the timing because like something so bad happened the previous night. So for that, you know, to happen the next day was like wow, like something super bad could happen to you or something super great could happen to you at the same time. It's like a double edged sword, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it was a blessing then nonetheless. It's awesome. Another guy I want to ask you about, Russell Westbrook. Yeah. To me, he's like the millennial icon. What was it like interacting with him a couple weeks ago at uh, All-Star Weekend? You know, I just couldn't help but think like, damn, I'm the same height as Russell Westbrook. Wow. God damn, I could have been Russell Westbrook. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, you know, if I really hustle Try, yeah. like, like him and But he can't yeah. rap, so yeah, you're, yeah. you know, it's a trade-off. No, nah, no, nah, for sure, for sure. Like, what well, he's, he's like, he's one of the goats, too. Mm -hmm. Let's take a walk down here, talk about another brand of sneakers. Let's do it. Joey, one thing about this album, it has a theme. You're encouraging people to speak out and kind of lead the youth. People kind of were taken aback on, on Trump's presidency. The CEO of Under Armour said it's a good thing that he's in office. Do you separate politics with sneakers or would you not support a CEO or a company that comes out and, and talks about Trump in a, fit, in a positive light? Sneakers, there's sneaker politics, there's politics and everything. You know, I definitely try my best to stray away from companies that I know might be involved with things that I don't agree with. Right. You know, I definitely try to stick to, uh, you know, my Jordans, my Yeezys mm -hmm. and, 
Even my Adidas because they for the culture, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, with clothes and sneakers and materials, things like, most of the time you don't even really know. Mm -hmm. They could say nothing and, you know, mean the worst. So it's like... You're right. You know what I mean? You just you just got to take everything with a grain of salt at Absolutely. the end of the day. Let's walk over here. Let's talk about music collaborations that are going on with sneakers. Yeah, let's do it. How do you feel about the collaborations going on between rappers, artists, and getting their own sneakers? I always say that hip hop is bigger than just music. You know, hip hop is also fashion. Hip hop is also style, mm -hmm. you know? So it, it just makes sense that rappers will have their own sneakers, you know what I mean? Have their own sneaker collaborations because the two go right hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, straight, straight from, uh, you know, Run DMC days and my Adidas, like, yeah. you know, Hip hop solidified like that shoe. You know what Absolutely. I mean? As just like some shit that you wear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you rock. So, if you could do a shoe with anyone, who do you think you would want to do it with? I definitely rock with Adidas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I got a few tricks up my sleeve. Okay, something yeah. coming maybe? Something coming. All right, so Joey, we talked about everything now. The easy part, you get to browse the shelves, buy some sneakers. Okay, let's do it. I get a size 11. Also a size 11. I need a pair of these. You s hard. Let me see the size uh, 11 in these. And size 11 in these. These s tight. How the f you put this s on? Yeah. <laughs> like, n ain't gonna be able to leave the crib. Like, <laughs> put these s on. Alright. We straight on this. I had to get these for my pops, you know what I mean? These s is fire. So, Joey came through, bought a bunch of sneakers. Thanks for coming through, man. Yeah, no doubt. Much love. Thanks for having me, man. No doubt. Make sure you guys check out All American Badass, April 7th.